We will be crowning a new champion of the top 14 in 2017. Reigning champions, Rusting 92 have been knocked down in the semi-final and that leaves two familiar faces to battle it out in the final. It is Clermont up against Toulon to decide the top 14 crown. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 3 and the top 14 grand final where yet another piece of Northern Hemisphere trophy wear will be handed out today. Now come on, it's seen that did pretty well over the regular season, finishing up in second position throughout that year. They made their way to this grand final by beating last year's champions, Racing 92, who finished sixth place by 37 points to 31. Now they are back in the final again, a place where they have lost 11 of the last 12 finals. They need to come up trumps and they need to lose that choker tag big time here against the big, big side from Toulon. They have plenty of players they can rely on. They have a strong pack with plenty of experience and plenty of big game players. Their back row looks strong. Plenty of experience there. Fritz Lee, a man who's been around, starts at number eight forever. And they have ex-Wallaby in there. Sinaleki Tamani starting in the second row. French internationals around all over the place with Jordan. Zurichas really in there on the tight end side of the front row. Kaiser, Scholli, just two of the French internationals making their way into the side in this pack. In the back line, similar story. Pada, Lopez, they know how to score and how to keep things under control. Lamarat and Pinot will be the centre partnership. And there's plenty to like about this back three as well with Rucker, Strictel and Abendanen, 11, 14 and 15. They are finishers who know their way to the try line and are safe under any given circumstance. It's a strong side for Clermont. But they've no one to get here before with great teams that have fallen at the final hurdle. A team that never really falls at the final hurdle is too long. They have a rich history of success and they have all the big names as well. Plenty of ability and talent and you can see it when you look at this back row. Juan Smith, Dane Vermeulen and Liam Gill. What a back row that is. There's more ability than you can shake a stick at in this back line for too long. Look at the names in here. Tillis Board, Ma Nonu, Bastido, Drew Mitchell and O'Connor are big name international players who are set to make an impact in this grand final. It is Toulon up against Clermont as the two heavyweights in French rugby clash once again to decide yet another top 14 championship. Start de France is the host. Let's get down to the action. So it'll be Toulon to kick off. Bello is there on halfway, ball in hand. Toulon in the red and black as Clermont in the yellow and blue. Top 14 final is underway. Kick off deep. And Lamarat is the one who pulls it in. Surely he had nowhere to go. They are so isolated here, Clermont. But somehow Toulon don't get back. And they don't hang on to the ball. That is good work from Clermont early. Here's Sinleki Tamani. He has spilled his beans and has stolen. Ma'anonu climbs all over it. Ball back to the sport. This is a great opportunity to open up the scoring now. It's a cover back inside. Once with goes to Vermeulen. Toulon, they fight hard for the ball. It's Bello with a little kick through. Lamarat dives on the loose ball and puts it down for a 22 dropout. An exciting start from these two sides. Have been right at the forefront of a lot of success over recent years and Wow, that's a return kick from James O'Connor. That goes straight down the guts. Nick Abendon in his back there. He's looking to carve his way through. He's taken from an offside position. The first defender there in a red jumper. He's given away the penalty, and that is a big mistake as well. And it is a loose head prop. De Bobbles, who was given away. There it was, his attempt to tackle. He was left for dust by Nick Abendon. But it was to no avail because the penalty was still given as a kick for touch. Wow. That is very, very well executed there from Bello. He's got it right up to halfway. Perfectly executed. Now it is a throw for Kaiser. He's looking for just his one jumper with Satura. 
Lupitz gets the ball first time, looks for a little step through, gets halfway, tripped on his way pass, and Turing gets the ball back, but he has knocked it on, and quickly they deposit the ball down into the Clermont 22, and abandoning, he's going to have a go, but he's drilled into touch, another good tackle, the Toulon defence is very, very tough, but we know the counter-attack ability that players like Nick Abendanen have to offer. Now it is Gerardo to throw in for Toulon. Just got at the back. That was close. That was tight. Here's Ma'anonu. He'll break tackles. He does it all day long. Release. He does go a slight bit backwards there. Now it's picked up and they go from Tafa Vanilla. Sefa Vermeulen. Gerardo, big pass left side. Now there's a real chance for Drew Mitchell. He's got some ball with him, but he can't get the ball away. Great tackle from Strenel. And he shepherds Drew Mitchell towards the sideline and just mugs him over the white line. Now Clement go for the full seven man line now. Kaiser the throw. Again to the middle, it does well. Tamani's the man. Lopez. Oh, delivers a big pass, but it's a bit wobbly. Oh, there's no one out there. Raka dies for it. It's all too on here. Bello takes it into contact. They are just about 15 metres out. Nonu. Gerardo goes wide. It's Vermeulen again. He's a bit isolated Release. here, but too long get the numbers and support. Gerardo, he's the man there first. Ma Nonu again. Little grubber through. That is not going to help their cause. Looked a little too heavy. And it's really something that you don't see much from Ma Nonu, especially that close to the line, unless there is desperate measures involved. Out of ideas, this early in the match is not a good sign for too long. 23 gone. It's nil-nil still between these two sides. Top 14 championship up for grabs. Here's a kick. That could be. That goal could be close. But it looks like it's just stayed in the field of play for a bounce from James O'Connor. He looks pretty happy with the effort. Not his finest piece of work, but well judged in the end. Kaiser again. This time he finds a tour at the front. Pata cuts one out. Goes to Raka, the left winger, who's a little bit electric. Oh, he's thunderously put down. Good tackle by Tui Sober. That is going to be a battle to watch. Here's Pata. Terrible pass. And Pino has to dive Release. on the loose one. Secures the ball nicely. It sits up again. Here's Scholli. Away to Fritz Lee. He's a dangerous runner. Strong runner. That's a terrible pass, though. Streetle picks it up and puts another one away. Tamani, oh he's lost it though, great play from Toulon as they look to enforce their way into the match through the running skills of Drew Mitchell. Here's Gerardo, two men take him down, Police. just outside the 22 now, here's Van der Merva. and they find the numbers out here of the big man, now there's some room for Martin Nord who had to pass, Police. he had to pass that, three on one, two he's over away, Drop goal! Here we go! It's Bastolo! He's got it over! What a droppy! From Bastolo, way out on the right. He smacked it against the crossbar and over she goes. Three points on the board for Toulon. Well, 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 that was lucky. But as we head to half time, seven to go. It is 3 0 Toulon lead over Clermont. Top 14. On the line is, well, that's a very strange kick off there from Lopez, but he's got away with it as running it back is Smith. Plenty of red jumpers there to help him out as well. That has been the big thing at the moment for Toulon. They have support everywhere they go. Now they find room. Tillis Port does well to Drew Mitchell. Martin on and finds space. And he is always a dangerous runner. Look how quickly Toulon get that ball back. Tillis Port around the corner. Finds it to Bellow. It gives away to Wayne Smith back to Grado. That's got to be a penalty and it is. Quickly up and over the ball. And Clermont get a penalty and finally they get one within range. It is a chance to put this back level 3-3 with the boots of Morgan Parra. It's a handy position. Just over 22 metres out in the halftime buzzer goes as Parra has the three points. We are on the board both ways. Toulon three, Clermont three. It is half time and it is one hell of a match so far. Both sides having chances, but neither putting the ball over the white line. 
3-3 the score and you can see Toulon a bit the better of things as well. 65% of possession and 66% of territory. It is a drop goal from Bastero that got them their points and a penalty from Pada back the other way for Clermont who have not had much of the ball or the field to play with so far in this match. They've been forced to defend 26 tackles to 11. That is one big difference in this match so far. Handling errors, letting Clermont down at the moment, seven by them, just zero by Toulon, which is always a good sign when you haven't made any mistakes. You're still in the game. It is well and truly game on for the top 14. 3-3, three, three. Clermont, Toulon, unable to be separated after the first 40 minutes. Let's see what the second 40 will deliver us here at Start de France. So back to halfway comes Lopez. This has been a tightly contested matchup so far. Lopez looks to the left, he kicks to the right. It's high, it's high, and Atura picks it up brilliantly as well. He's got no friends though. Yellow jumpers are needed, required ASAP, but they don't come. And once again, Vermeulen has the ball. It's easily turned over and it's kicked away this time. Bustido getting the kicking boots on well and truly here. Great kick, great kick, Buzz! Has it gone? Yes! It has gone just a smidge too far. Would you call it even a half a metre? If that too Nine. far from Bastido. And we go Shit. all the way back. That was exquisitely timed from all oh, the Clermont defence. But how about this from Toulon? They are going to smash their way back. No! Clermont leave it late. But they may get this ball. Where is it? It is back there for Para. Now he's running. Para away to Strino. Strino's got the speed. He's got away from Mitchell. Can he do the same? No! Full back O'Connor. Sensational defence here. Pada. Atura tries to barge his way through the line. Needs support here. It's Scholli again. He's been good. Oh, and it's a knock on. And here comes Marnonu. He's through the first line. The, the mistake could be the demise. It's a chance going all the way. Could be Liam Gill. Liam Gill. He's over. He is over for Toulon. What a counter attack try from Toulon. They had to work so hard there. To get that chance, Ma'anonu created it. Morgan Prada had the speed, but Liam Gill, he had the angle and he just made it work. An electric run from Ma'anonu. He knows how to counter attack. He is a former All Black. That was an All Black play to pick up the loose ball and instantly turn defense into attack. Well, what a turn of events. Just when it looked like Clermont might be scoring down the other end. Now it's Bello who's having a shot at goal. Oh, this could be big. That leaves the door wide, wide open now for Clermont. It is unsuccessful from the boots of Bello. And now with just 28 minutes to go, Clermont are behind by just five. What do they do now? Lopez, he puts this one very, very high, but it is a gift out there for nice. Toa Fifania. And now Toulon, they restart, and they restart straight through the guts. Liam Gill again, he finds through Mitchell, fends away one, but Morgan Parler says not again, not again Toulon, and he shuts that play down. They are looking extremely dangerous here, Toulon. Another try, they could put this game to bed. Here's Kaiser, goes to the front, and Atura does well. Lopez looking to spark. Lamoran, he's got an overlap out there, and it's picked up from Pino. The way to Raka. Raka could make something happen here. He chips over the top. Telesport chases back. And they both just let it go into touch. It was tight, it was close. But now Toulon have the ball back. Gerardo to throw into the line out. Full seven-man line out as well. They go to the middle and it's well pulled down. Now they'll have to attack. They've got it quickly out to Mitchell. Goes one further. Ma'anonu on the wing. Looks to fan. Great defense from Clement. 
shifting well from one side of the field to the other winger drawing in defenders but ultimately it did not work out for them this is crucial game right now moments are made by champions oh that is not good it's shaky it's another chance for Toulon release Clement have let that slide once release. more and now they're desperate for the ball they work so hard for that opportunity back it goes and a mistake there from Bello now they've got to make something work from broken play they find it out to Mitchell but Shredo puts release. him down time is ticking 15 to go to this board Misses them all out. Bello over the top. Manoru is driven Race. to ground. They stay inside. They're 22. Zero Crush Vili putting Race. in a big hit there on defense as well on Drew Mitchell. They pop it short again. This time it's knocked on. No one wants the ball. And they eventually pick it up, Clement. Fritz Lee has a bit of a run. What can he cook up? Possession. That's what he cooks up. Big pass wide. Limerant! Limerant through! And he'll score! Advantage was to come on! And then put the ultimate advantage on the board with a try! 8-8! Eight, eight, kick to come! Well, he's been quiet, but as this match has worn on, Remy Limerant has built beautifully into this game. What a pass there from Sitaliki Tamani, the former Wallaby. A big game play from a big game player. He surveyed to his right. He chose his left. And Nonu just could not keep up with the acceleration of Lamarat. Superb try. And now this is where the cool, calm, collected head of Morgan Parr. Look at that stern look on his face. With nine minutes to go. Who else would you want to take this conversion? It's an easy one, but for a younger, inexperienced, shaky player, that would have been torture. But for this man, it is nothing like that. It is just another kick, and it is just another two points that could be the most important of the year for Clermont. Seven minutes to go. What can Toulon do? Can they find a way back? They do win the ball, though. Clermont and they'll keep Toulon out of it for now. Kaiser goes away. Pernod has been pretty quiet here today. They look to shift it out to the right. Streetle picks it up pretty nonchalantly as well. Terrible pass. They've No, they've given it away. They've made the mistake. Release. That is the big error they did not want to make. They just tried it for too long. Good pass though from Tillisborn. There's room here. There's time for Clermont but they can't get the ball. Gerardo. There's room through the guts here. And Double Owens takes it on. Release. Telesport again. Oh, he's faced in a fierce tackle from Fritz Lee, who turns it over. Parra away to Sinaliki Tamani. Tamani's away as well. He's got support and it's knocked on. All they need to do now is play this advantage out and it's all over. If Toulon can't make advantage, it is a penalty and that is full time as well. What do they do here, Toulon? They look wide. They look to make the play play as well. Manonu back inside. It's Gerardo. He is all alone though. And it's a chance. No, they've called it back. They've called it back. Unbelievable. Dane Vermeulen was two on one, but that is full time. And Clement, finally, they push the bug off the back. They have done what they have struggled to do in the past. They have won the big one. The top 14 is finally coming to Clermont. What a match though. What an epic, epic match between these two French heavyweights. An amazing game that ends just 10 points to 8. One try each. Lamarat for Clermont. Gil for Toulon. Conversions, penalty goals and drop goals. There was one of all three. The conversion went to Parra. Should that have been over from Bello, that could have been tied ball game. The penalty goal early on from Parra was matched by a drop goal from none other than Bastida. Of all people to get a drop goal, that one was a surprising one. And it hit the crossbar as well. What a fantastic match to crown the top 14 champion.
full-time stats and it tells us that it was fairly tight. Toulon still had the better of that match. 60% of position to just 40 to Clermont. Territory pretty much exactly the same. 59-41. Look at that tackle count though. 50 by Clermont. Just 29 by Toulon. That is a big, big difference as well between the two sides. The penalty goal just about proved the difference. And for Clermont, their hands were terrible. They made a lot of errors that almost cost them the biggest one of their season. But they are the champions. Top 14 winners for 2016-2017 are Clermont. 10, 8 over Toulon. What a fantastic final. It is great to bring these one-off matches like this of the biggest competitions around the globe to the channel. Hopefully some more from French rugby in the future as well. I'm very, very hoping to get some more series running in France would be fantastic. But for today, Clermont 10, Toulon 8. The top 14 championship goes to Clermont. I hope you enjoyed this matchup of the final and let me know what your thoughts on the game were in the comments below as for always. But for today, that is my time done and dusted. I'll see you all next time. Wherever we may end up, there is so much great rugby going on at the moment. But until then, take care.